Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is another video in our NLP beginner to advanced series. And today we will look at what is zero shot learning or zero shot classification. We will see what exactly zero shot learning or classification mean. How does zero shot learning model works under the hood? And then finally, we will do a zero shot classification using hugging face transformer. So first of all, what exactly the zero shot learning? In a zero shot learning, we're going to use a model to do a prediction on a task for which it hasn't been trained on. For example, let's look at, we want to do a classification given a particular sentence here. We want to know whether the sentence is about travel, cooking or dancing. So our classification labels are travel, cooking and dancing and we know that the model that we're going to use is not explicitly trained on such a labels, but we're still going to use it. And that is the reason we, got, we call it zero shot classification. Then how does this zero shot classification model works if they haven't trained on explicitly on our kind of labels? The one of the popular technique zero shot learning models uses called natural language inference. This one, NLI, natural language inference. Now, what exactly the natural language inference task? The natural language inference task is, we want to determine whether a particular hypothesis is a true, false or a neutral given some premise. Okay, here is an example. Let's say we have a sentence, one day I will see the world. So you can treat this sentence as a premise and then you can calculate or you can create hypothesis for your each label. So if you have a label travel, we can say that this particular sentence, which is our premise, this text is about travel. Similarly, you will do for cooking. This text is about cooking. So once you have each of the, you know, for each label, once you have a hypothesis created, then you can use this technique NLI and you can calculate Given this sentence, one day I will see the world, what is the probability that it is the true for each of this hypothesis? What is the probability that this text is about travel? What is the probability that this text is about cooking? And you're going to calculate what is the probability for a true? And that's how you're going to use it. And we're going to use a model called this one, the Facebook. BART large MNLI actually it is stand for I think multi NLI yeah multi NLI and this particular model is trained on this data set and we will see why does doing this kind of premise and hypothesis classification work so if you look at the data set on which it has been trained let's open this in a data set viewer here is the data set that has been used to train that zero shot learning model. It has two important column, this one, which is the premise and this one, which is the hypothesis, both are string or sentences. And finally you have a label. So given this particular premise and this hypothesis, we want to classify whether the particular, uh, this hypothesis is a true, which is entailment or is it a neutral or is it a contradiction? So you could see this NLI, natural language inference, it treated as a classification problem. Given the two sentences, which is premise and hypothesis, we train a model to classify whether they are, you know, true, neutral or contradiction. And that is what we're going to see how we can do this zero shot classification using, let's say, transformer library. So first thing we will do, let's install the transformer library using pip install. And once it is installed, we want to import the pipeline module of the transformer. And what does pipeline module does? The pipeline modules take the name of the task that we want to perform. And you can specify the model that we want to use. This particular name we have copied from here. You can simply copy from here this name. And we want to load the zero shot classification model here. So let's run this thing. And once you have this model loaded in this variable, let's say classifier, we will declare the sequence that we want to classify. So this is the sentence that we want to classify. 
one day I will see the world. And then you give the list of labels that you want to consider while classification. So we say that travel, cooking and dancing. And then you give this to both the information to your classifier that we loaded here. And then eventually it will print the score for each of these labels. So you got, you could see this is our sequence. And for a travel, we got this 0 0.99 score. For dancing, we got very low score. And for cooking also, we got very low score. So under the hood, this particular pipeline, the zero shot classification, it has performed the about task. It has taken our sequence and then it has created the hypothesis for our each of this table. And then it has used the pre-trained model, this one, which is specifically trained on the premise and hypothesis classification. And then it has given the score for each of this label. So you could see we got the high score for the travel. Now, it is possible that the sequence or sentence can belong to more than one label, which is a multi-label classification case. In that case, we can provide one more flag during the classification, which is multi-label is equal to true. So let's add one more label. So I added label called exploration. Now we know that our sentence, one day I will see the world is related to both travel and the exploration. And let's see what score we get. You could see for travel, we got 0 0.99. For exploration, we got some high score and other two we got. So this is how powerful zero shot learning. So most of the time you want to do some classification, but you don't have enough training data. If you want to train any model from the scratch, you might require thousands of training examples. Even if you want to use a pre-trained model and fine tune it, you still require a few hundred examples. But then you could first explore whether the zero shot learning works in your case or not. And you could see it is very uh, much powerful. Let's try it on another example or different labels totally. So we will try this sentence. A Donald Trump will be the next president. And we will see a candidate label. We will give a science, politics and history. And we will see what is the score for each of them. And here's the output you could see. We got very high score for a politics. That is, you know, you could see how powerful this particular thing. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any suggestions for the next videos, let me know into the comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you.